Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And according to the AP, there are going to be about two dozen different cities that are going to be hosting anti-Sharia law rallies, which I'm perfectly okay with. But uh, the AP, of course, thinks Sharia law is perfectly okay with them because they are liberals and liberalism is a mental disorder. Inside the mosque on, in the college town of Eugene, Oregon, a half dozen men prostrated themselves on a carpet while another man led midday prayers. Over the melodic recitation came a tapping sound as locksmiths installed higher grade locks on the front door. See, there they go, turning these protesters into a threat. This is unbelievable. This, is, this network is supposed to be run by Americans, but they're not Americans. I've said this before. I stand by it, folks. These aren't Americans. I don't care. I'm not talking about the Muslims. I'm talking about the AP. They're not Americans. They don't deserve to call themselves Americans. I'M NOT TAKING IT BACK! Worshippers at Eugene Islamic Center are worried about their security. A man recently appeared outside, outside the mosque and threatened to kill Muslims. Now, you can't do that. So, barely two weeks later, an assailant stabbed two men to death and wounded the third in a commuter train in Portland. 110 miles to the north. Victims were trying to protect two teenage girls, one of whom was wearing a hijab as man shouted anti-Islamic slurs. So I'm going to drag out every incident they can find to make it look like every protester is the same type of scum that would do something like that. Looking ahead, Muslim leaders and others are concerned about anti-Sharia or Islamic law marches planned for Saturday in Seattle. About two dozen other U.S. cities saying marches are really anti-Muslim. Well, Sharia law has got to go, in total. They consider the incidents in Portland and Eugene and recent anti-Muslim crimes in America part of an alarming trend that came to the forefront last year's Last year's presidential election with far-right activists portraying Islam and all Muslims as a threat. Well, so now Trump's a far-right activist, huh? Our Muslim community is feeling a tremendous amount of stress and pressure, said a former Seattle mayor, Mike McGinn, who plans to attend the counter-rally Saturday. It's important for local leaders to express solidarity and make clear we stand against bigotry, against racism, and with our Muslim neighbors in the state and beyond. Ah, uh, former Seattle Mayor Mike McGinn, sir, you also stand against America. You are anti-American. I'm not taking it back. You do not deserve to call yourself an American. I wish we could toss you out of this country. And it goes on and on. Uh, yeah, many Muslims and others say the group. The group rallies Act for America has chapters around the coast, country and so is, is focused on fighting terrorism and promoting national security. It says it condemns bias against religious groups and is proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with peaceful Western Muslims as well as peaceful Muslims worldwide. Yet, many Muslims and others say the group promotes a distorted and prejudiced view of Islam. Act for America portrays Sharia as largely incompatible with American democracy and also warns of a stealth effort to replace U.S. law with an Islamic law. Well, yeah, that's what we have going on. 
Muslims call the claims ludicrous and say Islamic law plays a role similar to Jewish law as a guide to religious life rooted in the Quran. Uh, but the Jews, sitting there in their own communities, they have their faith. They don't go around threatening, chopping people's heads off if they uh, don't convert to Judaism. That's the difference here. And many Muslims do. And this next name is not going to happen, so AA heads up a Seattle group, area group that works against discrimination and hate crimes, so shouldn't we be putting up and ask a Muslim booth near Seattle's anti-Sharia rally? So people can ask questions directly about Islam, and we can counter conspiracy theories, accusations, and lies that come with our hate rally. Well, I'm going to cut this a little short. Uh, I'm going to see if they're in Rochester. I might go to it. Uh, if they are, to, you know, to cover it. We'll have to wait and see on that one. I'm not sure about this, so probably don't have one, which would be, it'd be great if they did and had it in a decent location. So let's we'll wait and see. But Sharia law has got to go. It's a system of tyranny. That's all it is. Tyranny, plain and simple. You see, they don't. It isn't about religion and making things better for people. It's about controlling people. That's the difference. And any religion that does that. On an intentional and regular basis, I'm not going to support. A lot of the Christians go overboard too, but not, but they're not chopping off people's heads. And you have that, what was that, that crazy church in Kansas? Uh, I can't remember the name right offhand, but they're not so. That's an example. It's Baptist Church. Westboro Baptist Church, I said, they are nuts, basically. Um, I don't support them at all. They're an example of a bad Christian church. But other than that, I think they're in Kansas, but other than that, we're, we will see. Possible field report if they have a whole rally here. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.